Trader Joe's got rid of my soy creamer. I've been trying their other creamers and they are just not good. So Trader Joe's, if you're watching this goth girl makeup tutorial video for whatever reason, please bring me back my soy creamer because I literally don't want to be alive anymore now that I don't have it. And this is fucking disgusting. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I know this has been a really long time coming, so thank you for being patient with me as I sort through my severe body dysmorphia um, and inability to watch myself and my face as I'm editing or listen to my voice. I can't stand being in this body. Today I thought we would do a goth girl makeup video because this is how I've been doing my makeup lately and I really like it and I haven't really seen anyone else do this. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get started. I have just done my skincare so far. I will be making a skincare video because skincare is so important. I put on my sunscreen. Please do yourself a favor and get a good sunscreen that you love and wear it every single day. Um, this one is the Tatcha Silk and Pore Perfecting Sunscreen. I will never wear another sunscreen. This is like, this is the shit. I put on the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer also from Tatcha. So like everyone else in the universe, I use Anastasia for brows. Actually, I use Anastasia for a lot of my makeup routine. Um, this is the Dip Brow Pomade in Granite. And then I have this tiny little brow brush that I bought from Anastasia when I was like 16 and I still have it. So I'm gonna try and do my makeup on camera. The, I, I don't know if you'll be able to see anything I'm doing. Okay, so here's my little pomade. This stuff literally lasts for fucking ever. If you can figure out how to use it, it is kind of hard and there's like a little bit of a learning curve, but if you can figure out how to use it, well, like you'll spend $20 on brows for a whole year. You just want to pick up a little bit on your brush. So if you can see, I'm kind of just like going like that towards the edge on both sides. I'm going to start with this eyebrow. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So you're going to start from the bottom and you're just going to like kind of outline the very bottom of what you want your brow to look like. So for this video, I do my brows like a lot of different ways, but I'm gonna kinda just go straight up. Cool. And I'm actually gonna get a little more product because that's a little patchy and I want it to be really dark. So now we're gonna do the top. So as you can see, I took this all the way to where I want my brow to start. When we do it on top, we're not gonna start over here like we did down here. We're gonna start a little bit inside the brow and that'll just help it look more natural and less like we just took a Sharpie in our brows. So we've got like our outline. Now we're gonna fill our brows in. I pick up, I picked up some more product so that we can do that. And when I do this, I start in the middle. You can start at the tail if, of your brow if you want to, but do not start here. Start somewhere in here, fill that in first, and then we'll kind of work our way this way. So this is a mess, but we're gonna fix it. Okay, so as we move towards the front of our brow, once you get to about here, start blending this harsh line down here up. Don't pick up any more product either. Like just work with what's already here. This is just gonna help it look really natural and kind of faded. So now I'm gonna show you how to use concealer to make this better. The concealer that I'm using right now is the Beauty Blender Bounce Concealer. I love this stuff, it's very full coverage. And then as for your brush, you're gonna use a brush like this. So this is also from Anastasia. Um, you can use just any, this might actually be from Morphe, I don't know. Just some sort of like flat brush like this. Can you see that? Am I a real YouTuber now? Cause I'm doing this shit. So you're just gonna pick up some product with your brush. Can you see like this fuckery here? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna make it nice and sharp. So start on this side. You're gonna go right up at the base of this where you want it to be. Okay. 
there's like wig hairs in the concealer. So as you can see, I just covered all that nonsense down there and it'll look even better when we do the top one. So once that is on, you're gonna wanna take a brush to blend that. And you can let your concealer sit for a little while. Like there's no rush to blending this. Having it sit on your face actually um, helps the concealer warm up a little bit because it just uses your body heat. And I don't know what the science behind this is, but blending it like that um, is a lot easier once it's like warmer. Did that make sense? I think I said that in a weird way. Anyways, you're gonna wanna take a brush like this. Um, I got this out of a Morphe kit. Can you see what that looks like? You're just gonna want something that's gonna blend this area here. Now we're gonna do the top of our brow. So see how I fixed that? It's gone. Tastes like magic. So that's pretty sharp, but that's what we want. It's kind of going in a weird direction, but it's fine. We can fix it. And then same video, just blend it out. It's gonna look weird until you put on foundation. You can also blend it with your fingers. So I'm gonna do my other brow now. Um, as you can see, it's nice and sharp and scary, which is exactly what we want. If you accidentally cover too much up, you can always go back in with your product and adjust it a little bit. So I kinda wanna add a little bit more right here. Perch is in his princess tower. Here's Perch. Okay, so my brows are done. Um, now I'm gonna do my foundation and then we'll do our eyes. So my beauty blender has been, oh fuck. So my beauty blender is damp. And then the foundation that I use is also from Anastasia. This is their luminous foundation. This is the best shit ever. If you have like dry skin or if you have like pores or texture on your face, this will not sit in those or make them more obvious. It's a beautiful foundation. And I just put a couple pumps of this directly onto the beauty blender. This will be fun to do with bangs. I'm filming a TikTok like as I do this video. So you missed me blotting in my foundation, but basically just do this a lot. Oh my God. All right, well. <laughs> I put most of my foundation um, where my acne scars are, which is my cheeks and my chin. A lot of makeup people will tell you to start from the center of your face and blend outward. And the reason for that is because most people have most of their discoloration like right around here. But for me, all of mine is like here, here, and like down along my jaw. I use very little foundation on my nose and my forehead. Okie dokie, foundation is done. So now I'm gonna do my eyes and I use, surprise, surprise, another Anastasia product. This is their eye primer, eye primer. This is the best shit ever. Um, I have only tried the Urban Decay and this though, so there might be other things that are really good too. Um, comment below what your favorite eye primer is, but this one is super good. I really like it for me because it is, um, He's having a moment. Light, if you have darker skin, you might not like this one. So I just take a little bit. You really only need like a little tiny bit of this stuff. The wig, oh my God. And you can just blot this in with your fingertips. It's super easy. Okay, so I have both of my eyes primed. And as you can see, the skin there is so much lighter than the rest of my face and I'm pale as shit. So that's pretty impressive. And it's gonna make your eyeshadow pop. I'm gonna use a palette that I've had forever today. This is the, look how gross this is. This is the Morphe 35P palette. I use this actually quite a bit in a lot of my looks. Um, 
actually hit the pan on a couple of these shades, which is really cool because I like never hit pan because I have a compulsive shopping addiction and buy a new palette every fucking week. Um, but this is the shade we're going to use today. Um, and I really love that shade. It's like this uh, gray, it's purple, but it's like more of a gray mauve. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. And then as far as brushes go, I actually just bought all of these brushes from Makeup by Mario. Uh, Makeup by Mario is currently at Sephora, so if you um, go to Sephora and you see these, please buy them. They're so, so good. So I'm going to start with this one, and I'm going to go in with just um, a good base shade. So I think I'm going to pick this one. Tap off your excess. So as you can, as you can see, I have really small eyes compared to the rest of my face. So I don't put my transition shade in my crease. I start it there, but I bring it way up because everything that I do for my eye makeup is designed to make my eyes look bigger because that's what I want. I'm about to rip this fucking piece of hair As you can see, I'm bringing this up in the same trajectory as my brow. Okay, so we got our base transition, transition. I don't know why I'm having a hard time talking today. We have that shade on. So now we're gonna take our crease brush. Um, I'm gonna use this shade that I have used a million times, evidently. And we're just gonna kinda darken that up a little bit make it real spooky. So I'm gonna start kind of like out here in that region. I actually really do not have the eye shape for the shape that I'm trying to create. So if too much product goes down here, I will show you guys a cool trick on how to get rid of that. I can do this like tapered shape on other people pretty easily, but I just don't have the bone structure for it. Okay, once you have your product on there, um, I'm gonna take like a bigger, that bigger blending brush we used before. Pick up a little bit of that shade, not a whole lot, and we're just gonna blend. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more with my crease brush, just right on like the outer V here. And then I'm gonna add quite a bit of product down here because this is where we want it to be the darkest. Switching brushes to blend. And this really doesn't have to be perfect. The look we're going for is kind of like grungy and dark anyways. Okay, so we have our first two colors on. Have I mentioned yet not to at me about my dead plant? I think I did, but then I deleted that clip. So I know, but it's not quite dead, it's nearly dead. There's a big difference. So now we're gonna go in with, I'm gonna do this shade here, this like dark purple thing up there. And I'm using that crease brush again. So switching brushes again, blending that out. There's always this one spot right here that I can never get to look how I want it to look. It makes me sad. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with black. Um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the same crease brush. I'm gonna use this black down here. So now I'm using this flat brush and we're just gonna put a bunch of black on our lid. So kind of just 
pack that on there. And then just blend the crease so that there's no like difference in the shade and the intensity there. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick just to um, kind of fix the shape we have going on. So this is a concealer trick. Um, concealer is your best friend, kids. Don't ever forget. I'm going to use that Beauty Blender concealer that I was using for before. And you are going to kind of just draw a line with how you want this to look. So I want that to go, ooh, that to go straight up just like that. I almost just tried to, yeah. You can really see on this side that I brought that too far. I'm actually gonna take a little towel and take off a little bit of this excess because we really don't need that much. And then I'm gonna let that sit on my face so it warms up and it's easier to blend. I'm gonna take that same blending brush from before this is what it's gonna look like. I already did that side. And then just blend this um, farther side down and out. Be careful not to mess up the line we have going on here. And now you have a little bit more of like a defined shape. I'm also going to take my beauty blender and just kind of blend this into my foundation, but now it looks seamless. Um, if you feel like you got too much product like up here, you can also take like a light, for me a light, skin color type of shade and then come in from the top like this. And then just kind of blend that over so that you have a nice tapered wing-like thing. I'm also gonna add some highlight. So I'm gonna use the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. Dream Glow Kit. I'm gonna use Ethereal. Is that how you say that word? I don't actually know. I like to really pack on the shimmer. So now I'm gonna do my concealer, my face concealer and my under eye concealer are different. For my face, I'm gonna use that same concealer from Beauty Blender. And then for my under eye, I like to go a little bit lighter and the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer from Urban Decay is like perfect. I'm gonna do my face first. I know I use a lot of concealer. I have a lot of things to hide. So like I have been saying, leave your concealer on for a little bit before you blend it. I like to blend my under eye concealer with a beauty blender. So I am going to go dampen this little mini guy here. And then for the concealer that is under my eyes, I'm gonna use this smaller guy here and use the tip to blend that out. Okay, so now it's time for eyeliner. I've been using the One Size Patrick Star Liner. I got this in gratis. I work at Sephora and we get free product to try every month. Um, and this was included in one of our gratis hauls. And I really like it. It's really, really good. Very dark, very easy to use. I just start, I'm just gonna kind of follow this line that we have going on. For eyeliner, you kind of want it to follow the trajectory that your lower lash creates for you. So see how that's kind of like one smooth line? You don't want to go down or straight out. You want to follow that. We're going to draw our other line, starting from our inner corner. And then fill that in. Next, we're gonna do our lashes. So these lashes that I have here are from Rogue and Rouge. And I believe these ones were Slayer, but I could be wrong. I don't know, they're just big and they're from Rogue and Rouge. The glue that I use is the Black Duo glue. I like the one where you can squeeze it out because I feel like the one with the little brush is 
I don't know, not enough product comes out for me for that to really work, but if you are first starting out with lashes, um, the brush one is easier to use, so you could always give it a try and see if that works better for you. Okay, so you're gonna put your, woo, you're gonna put your glue on your lash, like that. Give it a good wiggle, because you want the outer and inner corner to stay in. And then um, if you read the instructions on glue, it always says, let dry for 30 seconds. You need way more time than 30 seconds. Like I usually let mine sit for at least a minute or two. So we're gonna let that sit. You want it to be so tacky that literally all you have to do is drop your lash on your eye and it stays. Let them hang out. Let them hang out. It's been about like two and a half minutes. So I'm going to put my lashes on. You're gonna wanna take your lash from the middle you're just gonna drop it straight down onto your lash line. Just like that. See how that just stays there? I don't have to hold it. All I have to do now is adjust the outer and inner corner so that they are right where we want it to be. Also, I'm using the black duo glue because more often than not, I am wearing eyeliner or black eyeshadow. If I accidentally like smudge it a little bit, this glue dries black and no one's gonna be able to see it. If you, if you have the white one that's supposed to dry clear, sometimes it really doesn't dry clear and you can really see like all that glue and it's, it doesn't look good. So definitely get yourself the black one. Now we're gonna do the under eye eyeshadow. There's two brushes I really like to use for this, they're both from e.l.f. This one is the, is the, eye, crease, bleh, the eye crease brush. We're gonna start with the first shade that we used. So that one, I think. I have been doing my makeup lately to make myself look very sickly and I'm really loving it. If you two would like to scare people at the grocery store into thinking that you um, have the plague or maybe COVID, I don't know, and you want people to stay away from you, follow along. So we're gonna start right up in here. If you get this everywhere, good. That's the goal. I'm bringing this really far. There was really no point in using concealer because I'm kind of trying to look like I haven't slept in 10 years. Why am I doing this? Why do I like looking like this? Hmm. But I do. Now we're gonna make it worse with that color. So we're just kind of doing the same thing that we already did, but we're just making it a little darker with that grayish purple shade. Now we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. smudge brush. We're going to use that with our black shade. We basically are looking like a very dehydrated raccoon. So I'm just blending this up into my eyeliner. Now that I have that, I'm gonna use this brush and blend it. I'm gonna use this white out of the um, Anastasia Norvina. This is the this is volume one. Just I'm gonna take my pinky and just highlight the inner corner of my eye. Okay, now I'm gonna do the inner corner with my eyeliner. This is kind of hard, like I still struggle with this, so if I fuck this up on camera, and then I fucked it up on camera, it's fine. Maybe I'll flip this around so you can see better what I'm doing. I won't know until I edit this whether or not you can see what I'm doing right now, um, but I did that. Next, we're gonna do something that's also kind of difficult. I'm actually gonna put lashes on my lower lashes, my lower lash line. I'm putting lower lashes on. So same as before, black duo glue. So I'm gonna let those hang out for a little bit. Actually, while I wait for those, I am going to do my contour. This is the Fawn Contour Stick. And I'm gonna blend it using this Sephora brush. We don't actually sell this anymore. Um, it's a slanted buffing brush. Okay, now we're gonna do our lower lashes. This is something that's kind of hard for me still. It's a really awkward feeling. Similar to how you drop your lashes 
for your top lashes, you drop it straight down. You wanna push this straight up. I'm having pretty good luck on this video. I'm not really screwing as much up as I usually do. So yeah, you can see the glue. That's gonna dry and you won't be able to see it. It'll look fine. So I use contour, now I'm gonna do highlight. And I'm gonna use that highlight that we used earlier, the Dream Glow Kit. I have this brush from Eco Tools that I literally only use for highlight. I don't have any other brush from them, but it's just the perfect highlight brush. Sometimes I'll take my fingertip and just Go like that, like right on my cheekbone, just to really make that pop. And now I'm gonna do my nose contour. So usually what I do for my nose is I just pick a shade from like my eyeshadow, put a little bit on my brush, and just kind of define the tip of my nose. I'm gonna take a little bit of that white with just like my fingertip here. And then I'm gonna do my contour, or my, uh, my highlight with my fingertip as well. So the only thing left to do is lipstick and then we're done. The lipstick that I use for like every look ever um, is the Black Moon Cosmetic Sleepwalker Black Liquid Lipstick. I've literally been tagging them in all my pictures since like 2017 and they have never acknowledged me. So um, I'm still gonna keep doing it though. I'm still gonna keep using it and tagging them. Maybe someday they will care about me. So I kind of just outline my lips and then fill them in. Also do overline my lips just a little bit, especially my bottom lip because I don't really like how thin my bottom lip is. So we're pretty much done. This is pretty much the look. There's just a few finishing touches we're gonna do. I don't use setting powder. Maybe you notice that I don't use a lot of powder, um, but I do use a setting spray. This is the What It Do from Fenty. I love this shit. Love it. Okay, so I did put my spooky contacts in and I put this like fishnet thing and this spike bra on because I'm making a spooky TikTok. But um, yeah, here's the full look. Just like a everyday kind of goth girl look that you can wear to family events and the grocery store and um, you know, church. So that's everything. Um, let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Let me know what questions you have. Comment below all the things. I'm going to go now. I'm going to finish drinking my coffee and go clean my house. Okay, bye.